Hello guys, Smart Paula here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be checking out the new free marketplace content for the month of July. We have a lot of new cool content here and let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So first up we have the photorealistic landscapes pack number three and essentially this has desert canyons and uh, sand dunes landscapes. So let's go ahead and check these out. So we can hit play here as you can see. You can see we just get this pretty nice landscape right here. As with all of these packs, you get a 8,000 by 8,000. And then if you zoom out here, you see we get these uh, far out tiles. So you get, your little, you get your little playable area here. It's just a basic canyons with a nice little river spline and some rocks and a nice little map so let's go ahead and check out some of the other ones so we also have the canyons a landscape okay so the canyons a landscape i think is a little bit more cooler uh because it just has a lot more variation here um so we have like uh, the very low canyons right here and then we have the higher plateaus up here so uh, just more variation, just a lot cooler in my opinion. So if we just hit play here, so we just hit play here, we can go ahead and run. I don't know what's up with this third person character, honestly. I literally just swapped it out. I have no idea what's wrong with this character. Ignore the arm, but anyways, uh, as you can see here, we can run around our scene. Uh, looks like the rocks aren't aren't the best uh, type of rock models. Maybe they're just, you know, far away. Meant to be more uh, far away. And the ground rocks as well, uh, for some reason. Maybe they're scaled up too high. I wouldn't say the uh, rocks that they have here aren't the best. I mean, you can always swap them out with uh, some of the Quixel rocks. Yeah, I mean, overall, I like this. And yeah, let's go ahead and check out the other one. So we have two Afghan ones and then a desert landscape. So let's go ahead and check out Afghan A. Okay, so if we zoom out here, it's more of a rugged mountainous terrain. Um, that's like basically like a desert. So if we play from here, it's just really kind of just an empty uh, mountain range with a little bit of shrubs here and there. So this would be a pretty cool level to use, you know, if you're making a first-person shooter of sorts. You can also, I don't know, make some sort of outpost here and do whatever you want. Just overall a pretty uh, decent sized landscape. And I've got to say, they do quite a nice job of fading these background um, meshes into the landscape so it looks like it's part of the level. So yeah, and let's go ahead and check out the second Afghan map. We have, this one has just a lot more uh, detail in terms of kind of like this erosion effect right here. So just a lot more different variation here in your uh, Afghan landscape. Okay, so lastly we have this desert landscape. This is what it looks like zoomed out. And then zoomed right in, as you can see, there is an enormous amount of detail here with the landscape material and they did a real good job on this one and you can see all the sand dunes and you can see the uh, distant mountains in the back and I can show you what it looks like here if I just click play with a third person character so yeah as for the third person character for scale you can see I mean there's just a lot of room here kind of reminds me of uh, Battlefield 1 maps. I think Battlefield 4, the uh, Silk Road expansion. Um, just lots of play area. And a very nice thing about these maps is that, I mean, it's already set up here. You got your distance meshes in the back here, so really you can just take the level and just migrate it right into your game. And use it as your playable map. Okay, so that pretty much concludes the photorealistic landscape pack. Let's go ahead and check out our next item here. Alright, so next up we have the metal environment. Okay, so if I zoom out here, you can see that we have a really small landscape here with some nice hill meshes for the distance. Just hit play from here. We can see that we have a nice little scene here, a nice little dirt road pathway that leads to a little lake or a little pond. And it's just a really nice 
cute landscape showing off all the different foliage uh, textures and these little these little rock assets and stuff as you can see there's a lot of options here for trees as well so yeah just a lot of cool details like this little pile of logs and then over here um, just lots and lots of foliage and we have a little campsite I think over here not sure what this is but yeah that's pretty much it oh, and we also have some of these rock uh, assets a lot of these rock assets actually that you'll find so if we go ahead and check out the other map that it comes with it just showcases all of the different assets here so as you can see there are a lot of assets that it actually comes with seven materials with two water shaders right here and then we have some road textures here for your road splines then we have a variety of uh, wood parts that you can use for different types of fences different variations and then we have some wooden logs over here for the ground very nice okay we have a lot of little details for foliage like these little mushrooms uh, some decals little shrubs here uh, some piles of leaves different types of flowers okay and then we also have all variations and sizes of trees okay and different styles of trees so just lots and lots of options here okay so we have our small rock assets right here very nice and I believe they're all just the same rock assets it's just a different uh, texture variations on them so just a lot of options to mix and match here and then as for these ones I think these ones as well are the same rock clusters but so you know these are good for a uh, little cliff parts that you want to add to your hills okay and then over here and then these ones over here would be good for you know a redwoods type forest So yeah, very high detail actually. If we go on the wireframe here, we can see uh, just some amount of detail. Um, now we can go in our LODs here. You can see all the LODs are all set up, so that looks all nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to our next item here. All right, so next up what we have here is the, the third person multiplayer pack. Basically, it has multiplayer, health damage, locomotion, shooting, and AI, all that good stuff. So if we go ahead and set our number of players to 2 and play as client. Okay, so we're right here in the game. We have a lot of different controls here. Uh, sprint, crouch, reload, interact. Okay, so we have our little weapons right here we can pick up. And then we can run around and the players can see each other. And we can also see our own other character there. We can pick up the weapon. We can shoot it around. I just have the volume muted because it's just a little too loud. Okay, so let's go ahead and run through the level. Okay, so it's just like this little shooter level here. Okay, so I guess I need some sort of plugin for the cover animations. Uh, but that's okay. Okay, so we'll shoot this guy right here. Oh, I'm reloading. So as you see, the character's taking health here too. Alright, and uh, when you kill the enemy AI, their character ragdolls. Okay, so we can run over here. We also see all the paint that the other player has done to the walls. Okay, and so there's just lots of different AI in here. And looks like we can pick up shotgun ammo here. So, I mean, it looks like everything is set up, all the variables and everything, so really all you got to do is take this and uh, package it and set up a dedicated server and you can be playing it with your friends. And I mean, this thing just goes on and on right here. I mean, you crouch through this area 
and then you have to fight your way through all these all these AI get past the tower defenses right here get to the very end now sadly one of the things that I did notice with this is if you do p.net show corrections one uh, there is this issue right here when you're trying to sprint or really when you're just trying to move in general uh, where the server is trying to correct your position trying to adjust your position so there's a lot of jitteriness with the character movement. This is probably just due to like the way the way they have the blueprint set up. So I'm gonna have to go in and fix this because this isn't really smooth uh, character movement by any means. It's really uh, glitchy. We have the character blueprint here, and everything is nice and neat, all commented out and all tidied up, so you guys can check everything out and how they did everything in blueprints. And of course, you can always customize it to your liking and all that good stuff. So guys, it's a pretty good template here that you can use if you want to get started with multiplayer. So definitely go ahead and pick this one up. Alright, so next up we have here Smart Dark Viz Interior Pack 1. Basically, it comes with all the assets that you see here and this nice little apartment demo. So if we go ahead and click play. It's going to show us a map of the apartment, and we can move around, click M to hide the map, and we can look around through the level here. Mainly this is used for architectural design, but I mean, some of these assets here, you can basically just use it for your game. So they come with a lot of different things we can use, I mean, and they're really high quality as well. So just a lot of modern architectural assets that you can use. And so if we actually go into uh, the bedroom over here. It's high detailed, very high detailed meshes. Honestly, I could see myself using a lot of these assets in my game. Um, very nice lighting on this. They did a really good job on the lighting. So if we go in the bathroom here too, you can see uh, just the amount of detail in the lighting here is amazing. I mean, it just looks realistic at this point. Even if you look at the mirrors here, they even have like a reflection too. So yeah, I mean, this pretty much has it all right here. But yeah, I mean, it has a ton of assets that it comes with. And I can just show you here in the other level it comes with the asset showcase. Okay, so first off, you can see here, comes with the Amazon Alexa. Always got to have one of those. A lot of kitchenware. Okay, uh, we have a TV here, flat screen TV. Uh, a fridge, some more kitchen stuff. Some chairs here. And then over here, we have a few options here for our couches. Some shelving. Looks like a wall section here with a oven. Then we have some uh, TV stands, drawers, uh, little candles here, some lamps, some speakers, a coffee table, and some more couches over here. They're really high detail as you can see. Um, then we got some paintings, some uh, modern art here. Okay, we got some more couches over here that will or little chairs here. Okay, we got some rugs under here as well. So it looks like we got a bed, a rug that's kind of messy, another rug, and we got a bathtub here, a toilet, and your sinks and bathroom stuff. Okay, and I'll some clothes in the closet, and some dressers. Just a lot of different assets that you guys can mess around with and play with. As you can see, they're pretty high poly. Um, as for LODs, I don't know if they come with any LODs at all. Yeah, I mean, it's just architectural visualization, so it doesn't come with any LODs, but I mean, you can always generate them and use it for a game. OK, 
Okay, so next up here we have this Photoshop to UMG plugin. Basically, it allows you to take your PSD files from Photoshop and drag it right into the engine and convert it to your UMG. So basically how it works is I've created here your little example. So I have my little character stats right here with my player bars, health bar, mana bar, have a little mini map, and a little exit game button. So how you set it up is you basically just create a different layer for each item and you name it on their naming convention. Basically I have exit at button and then mana bar, uh, progress bar, and then image player stat I for image. Then you take your UI right here. Basically you want to change the extension of this file, uh, but to do that you want to make sure that you expand this little tab here right here on your Windows Explorer. Go to view file name extensions. That way we can go ahead and edit the extension here. Just name it .psdumg and it's going to say file might become unusable. Let's click OK. You're going to go ahead and install the plugin to your engine and enable it. Restart your game. And then what you can do is just go ahead and drag the PSD UMG file right here right into your content browser. And as you see here, it creates a widget already. So if we open that up, you're going to see everything is basically created here for you. So we expand the canvas panel. So we have the background image. Uh, player stats right here as an image, minimap, and then our health and mana bars, our progress bars. So right here we can change the percentage right here. And then our exit game right here is also a button is what we set it to. So just a really fast and easy way to get, you know, your concept or your, your user interface design from Photoshop right into Unreal Engine and it supports text I think as well grouping and just a bunch of different other things that you can do I mean you can add a different styles too for your button for like normal hovered and press as well so guys definitely check this one out I feel like this uh, plugin is definitely underrated anyway so yeah alright so lastly I wanted to show off this stylized character kit for uh, casual male zero one Basically, this isn't one of the free marketplace items for the month, but it's a permanently free free item that will be on the Epic Game Launcher uh, permanently free. So you guys don't really have to get it this month. You can pick it up next month or whatever. So if we just hit play here, you're going to see you're going to get this stylized character that you can run around. Then you have a lot of different options for customization. So you can see over here we have the torsos and it's all modular so you can s pick and swap choose what you want okay and then we have you know the different jackets here different hairstyles as well as your different glasses uh, facial hair and all that stuff and then you have the base uh, mesh of the character all fully modular as well okay so yeah it's I mean it's a pretty good detailed mesh here and I really like the stylization kind of looks like Fortnite, like a Fortnite character or something. One thing I wish they would have done is actually made the shoes modular, or I guess the shoes are pretty much the same, but you can change just the color colorization on the shoes. So yeah, guys, if you want a fully modular, customizable character here, go ahead and pick this up. It's uh, permanently free on the marketplace, and it's just called the Stylized Character Kit, so go ahead and check it out. So yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you guys go ahead and hop over to the marketplace and get these assets before they are gone. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.